Hi, uh, welcome to a brand new tutorial on how to upload uh, eZine articles on eZineArticles.com. And you know how important it is to publicize your website or a blog link with uh, brand new articles. And eZine has been one of the best mediums to do so because you can get loads of visitors from eZineArticles.com. Well, I'm just going to go through roughly fast and, uh, and, and a short tutorial on how to do this. S let me just log in and uh, this is just one of the new um, author uh, account that I've created on behalf of my partner for a human resource management website and uh, suppose we have to submit a new article over here so we go to the article manager and submit a new article and you can see that these are the fields select a category select a subcategory and the title and a brief uh, summary or a teaser copy and then comes the body copy so what i'm going to do is i already have a pre article written over so we're going to just copy paste the material uh yeah i know my machine is a little messy so i have to figure out uh, article location campaign hrchris.com okay design and I'm gonna submit I'm sorry I'm gonna do this one what how great manager search for the talent and there is already already a article written over it so I'm gonna just copy the heading and I'm gonna go over to this title here I'm going to copy this. How great manager search for the talent? If it is a question, so you have to put a question mark. You know, you have to, you must be very careful with design articles because they are extremely strict with uh, the the quality of the con content and grammar of the content. Now I'm going to just I assume that this article is uh, proofread, and I'm going to copy paste the body copy here. Remember this: you got to turn. <coughs> what you see is what you get. W Y S I W Y G on. Now, if I put it off, it's going to look very different. It's going to look all, all the HTML code and coding. You may not be able to understand it much. You must learn about it though. So, you're going to put it on. Now, it's going to look like how it's supposed to look on Microsoft Word. So, you have a fair, about, a fair idea about how what the body copy is. Now, <coughs> I'm sorry. Now it says that your body contains invalid characters. They will be replaced with equivalent characters. So you, you w any problem that um, the automated um, eZine tool kind of comes up with, you just press correct now. So it kind of corrects the internal coding problem, HTML coding problem that is there. And by default, it has already picked up certain keywords that you, we might, m you, might, you must, I might have used in the article, like great managers, define talent, great manager search, manager search, greatest managers, managers define talent. You need not always select from what the automated tool has found out. So you can put your own keywords. I'm going to take a few from, okay, talent search, HR talent. That is, that I think that's going to be a good keyword. HR talent search. Okay, then war for talent. I'm gonna randomly select a few of them. Basically, the idea is to tell you that you can you can have correct white spaces in your keywords. Correct it right away. So you can see that there are. Y you can continue putting as many keywords as possible, but no and not enough characters left to add keyword. Okay, so these are. This is the maximum that you can put. Oh, I'm sorry. There are two commas over here. Now it's it's corrected. So search for the most primary keywords and put it over here. And here I've already got a default resource box, which kind of leads to hrchris.com. This is the this is the box where you can you have to put the HTML coding. And what I'm trying to do is uh, uh, you'll see in the final output. HR management resources is what I, I want to be hot linked to my website. So this is the coding, this is the small bit of coding. You know, like vi visit hrchrist.com for more on HR management resources and HR tutorials. 
So these are the two words which have hot linked and this is the basic coding, HTML coding to hot link any term or any uh, word in an article. There's a very little bit of thing which, uh, there's a very simple thing which you might have to learn uh, and, and once you, you, have, you put it as a default resource box, you don't have, don't have to change it every time. But of course, you have to change this link. Suppose this word is supposed to reach uh, lead to some particular article on your website, some particular page on, on the web, then you have to just replace this particular link instead of the root level domain uh, link. This is what you got to take care. And since eZine articles allows you to put hot link two words in your resource box, remember this, you cannot advertise anything about yourself or any product or, or a website directly into the body copy. You have to do this here in the author resource box, so th which is why it is here. So once I finished my article, I'm trying to advertise. I'm not trying to advertise. I'm trying to uh, lead the visitor to the desired link. I'm just going to go right over and show you how it's going to look in the final output. And it, it, it also asks for a summary of two to five sentences. The first two or three sentences from the, from the body article will be used. So if you have a have a different summary that you want to give you have a different gist of the whole article then you might have to write write it over here about two to five sentences or by default it'll just take the first few lines you know for example I'm just gonna randomly select this bit and put over here so this is how it's gonna be you can have your own article or abstract summary that you can come up with you know more concise and always remember the word count. There are 100, 108 uh, words already, uh, sorry, characters have already been used, sorry, words have, have already been used. The maximum of, maximum of 200 words that you can go to. So you can fair, uh, fairly write a great, uh, good, concise copy of the summary uh, on your own if you want to be very specific. So now, <coughs> this is something which you may keep changing every time that you post an article because remember, Remember, each article on eZine should ideally be pointed to a certain and, and a pinpointed link that the visitor should be visiting, you know. So just keep changing this particular uh, description below the below each, art each article. I'm not going to publish it right away. I'm going to save it as a draft. Now it's been saved as a draft. And we're going to do a spell check on preview and display on a new window. We're just gonna see how the article is gonna look at the end of the day. See, this is how it's gonna look. How great manager search for the talent and uh, the my article. And here is where I have the resource box. Um, blah 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 blah. Visit hrcrace.com for more on HR, HR management tutorials and HR tutorials, views, suggestions, suggestions, and contributions. So if I click on this, I'm supposed to go to my website hrchris.com. Remember, this is where we have led the link to. If suppose I want the article to lead to this particular page on my blog, on my website, so I, I, I would have had to link this word. I would have had to link this word, HR management tutorials, that put to this particular page over here. So you see how important it is to lead every article to a particular page. Ideally, Ideally, how great managers search for the talent. Ideally, I prefer to keep every the first alphabet of every word capitalized because that it looks readable, it looks more legible, and looks more professional. And uh, we've already selected the category uh, under 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 human resources. This is business because this article is about human resources. So I've so I have already selected human resources from the list preset list category list of category and subcategory given you can select your own category based on the topic of your article so now we are kind of done with our article preview one last thing when we preview it it, it ideally shows you all the uh, spelling mistakes underlined as red because this article is already proofread so you, you don't see any mistake over here so please do make sure to check your grammar and your spelling mistakes because once if you have even a single mistake in all 
likelihood your article will be rejected and getting rejected means staying waiting all over from top you know like waiting for days to get it approved and uh, and, and and you also get bad brownies for that so you your account may also be suspended if you have repeatedly if you submit repeatedly uh, mistaken articles as in grammatically incorrect articles so that is one thing you should be really really careful about now if we go to the article home you can see I've already published uh, three articles um, um, but they are still in the draft so I'm, I just have to correct a few uh, things that I haven't done yet in my article and I have to publish it accordingly so this doesn't this apparently doesn't have a okay one more thing like when you have already selected a category it kind of shows you to make it easier for you to select one of the preset categories that you've already selected for another article so, so you see how it becomes so diff uh, easy easy for me to select the category uh, above I'm gonna save it as a draft again and I'm gonna just check over if there is a spelling mistake on this article as well there is listed four activities there's some problem with the grammar or something like that sometimes it may show underlined red thing but it it, 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 it may be right at the, at the end of the day because there's not if it uh, uh, if you feel that it's all okay, it's correct, then you just let it be. So that's about it. Here also I've uh, hot linked this particular word to my blog. I can close preview. So once you're completely sure of uh, the entire exercise, then you can click here. Yes, I agree, and you can submit this article right away. So that's about it. So you now you know how to submit a new article on ezinearticles.com and uh, for the rest of uh, the online marketing techniques and tips I'm gonna come over again here thank you